Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an application for your Android devices called ES File Explorer. Open up ES File Explorer and it brings us into our directory where I can see all of the folders that are on my device. Now this is browsing my root directory. Now there are some options for rooted devices that if we open up our side menu and tap on tools down here, we can do a root explorer. So if your device is rooted, you'll have more options. But right now we're working with a stock Android device, which we have not rooted, so we cannot enable that. But if you are rooted, go and enable that and you'll be able to see even more root folders right here on your device. So the, it's a basic file system. If I tap on a folder, it's gonna bring me into whatever files are in that folder. If I tap in here, you see I can start going and browsing all the file systems and all the folders that are here on my device. If I ever tap and hold on a folder, it's gonna give me some more options. Down below, you see I have a copy, cut, delete, rename, and if I tap more, there's even more options. I can add this to my desktop, I can go ahead and Chromecast it, add it to a playlist, play if there's music files in there. What's also really nice is this compress option. So this will zip and do RAR file support right here from within inside the application. So if I wanted to compress those files into a smaller size, I can do so by tapping compress. Notice I can even move and copy too. I can even tap and hold on folders and then drag them to another folder to move them in there. Or notice I get my same share options. I can copy and then delete by going into all those different menus. So go ahead and come back. We're going to come out of that. I can swipe left to right. So here's my network options. Swipe over to the left and here is the basic home page giving me an overview of everything that's on my device. Now this device only has internal storage, but if you had an SD card, you'd also be able to browse your SD card from within inside these pages as well. And what I can do is swipe from the right to left. Here I have a clipboard, so if I've copied anything, I'll be able to view it from the clipboard here. And tapping on Windows will show me the three windows that I have open. Now if we open up, we can tap on view and this is going to show us the view down here at the bottom. Do we want large icons, small icons, do we want to sort by name? I can pinch and I can zoom in on the folders. I can pinch in and it's going to bring it back to my default view. I can open up the side menu. Right now we're in our tools section, but I can go ahead and collapse these different areas. I have favorites, so I can add favorite folders to these lists. I can even add one. If I tap on local, I can choose my default home page. Do I want to go to my root device? Do I want to go to downloads, the home page, or even my SD card? I tap on library, I can see images, music, movies, documents, and apps. These will quickly highlight everything that has to do with those different sections. Tap on network, I can see network storage, such as my LAN, any cloud storages, Android TVs, Bluetooth, remote managers, even net managers. So this is a really all-encompassed file manager. If I tap on theme, I can change the theme of the actual ES file explorer. So I can go back to a classic theme instead of the default theme. And then in my settings, we'll open up that side menu and come into the settings. I have a few options. I can choose my display options so I can select buttons. I can have the SD card display in my status bar. So you see up in the top left hand corner of my device, that SD button now shows up there showing me the actual status of my device storage. I can show the card size, I can get a uh, plug-in message whenever I plug in a USB device, go ahead and come back out, I can clean my history and cache upon exit if I want to, clear my cache and even clear my default app settings. I have directory settings where I can choose my home, Bluetooth, and download path. Search engine settings, I can set it for the home page if I'd like to, and even search, tap in here and select my default search engine. There's document settings, so I can choose all my document settings in the library. I can password protect everything that I'm viewing by tapping on password settings. I can tap on the app, and this is going to show me backup before uninstall. I can even clean associated files. I have window settings where I can set my default windows that we saw earlier. So I have the home homepage and network. I have my recycle bin, and I have some system settings down below where I can rate, view the update settings, help, and then view the privacy policy. So this is a really cool file browser. It's allowed me to view all the files that are on my device and even zip and compress them and even re remote access my home computer with my file explorer when I go into the network. It has multiple language support and it allows me to transfer files via Bluetooth. And then anything such as pictures or videos or movies, I can watch directly on my device inside this browser. So once again, this application is called ES File Explorer. If you like it, 
pick it up for your Android devices in the Google Play Store.